So another thing that I find interesting and also hard to square is we have these debates about um, people and young people in particular not wanting to have society define what box they're in. They want to be able to identify themselves. Most people do. Now, on the one hand, I have to say, as you know, someone who is a little older, I don't quite get all of the pronouns. It's hard for me to address someone as they, right? But I also get that young people don't like the idea that historic determination of identity by fixed gender identity um, is who you are. How do you deal with that? How do you, because it feels legitimate to me that young people want to rebel against what they sense as society telling them this is how you want you need to be. Well, uh, let's say two things. So first is that everybody should be free to be who they are, to act as they wish, um, to present as the gender role that they prefer. Um, uh, and we need to have a society in which we respect everybody equally, irrespective of a race they're from, irrespective of a national origin, irrespective of a biological sex, well, sure. respe but irrespective we, of a gender we, role. But they, we don't do that. They choose. Well, uh, yes, and we need to keep fighting to do that more more closely. But the, uh, that is different from saying that we should create a society where how we treat each other is deeply shaped all of the time by the group of which we're from. Having a, a, a society where we have these forms of deference to each other on the basis of our identities is not, in fact, a way to build towards social equality. And the other thing I want to say is that many of the norms and yeah. practices that have now been adopted in these institutions actually box people into defining by their identity even when we don't want to. But is this really happening in most universities? Like, you go to U UMICH. I mean, the temple is football. You got 110,000 people out there every week, and like, that's what they're all training up for, middle of the country. I mean, America's a diverse place. Universities, I mean, I get that you have a few of these Ivy League schools that are driving this, but is this really the experience of most American university students? Is it really? Well, I'll, I'll tell you two things. The first is that the students I teach are very open to thinking seriously about these topics um, and to changing their mind. But everything they've been taught at this point in their education is that they should define themselves by the particular intersection of identities at which they stand, but they should be skeptical of free speech, or they should uh, put under general pall of suspicion all forms of what's come to be called cultural appropriation. But there's a deep way in which we're not going to be able to understand each other if we stand at different intersections of uh, identity. The important thing is not to build a culture in which we are forced to double down on narrow identities, in which we think that we can't communicate with each other if we have different identities, in which we cease to build the broader identities like ones as Americans that allow us to sustain solidarity with people who are very different from us.